Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop, Heavenly Backyard Astronomy, and today I want to talk about this little device from SV Boney. It is their SV241 power box and uh, USB hub, and it's ideal for astrophotography. Welcome to Heavenly Backyard Astronomy. Let's talk about the SV Boney power box. You know, SV Boney has been producing products that are reasonably priced and good products uh, for astrophotography, and this is no exception. And this is a wonderful device. It gives uh, output for your uh, power supply and USB connectors for your uh, uh, devices on your rig. For example, you have two USB 3 ports and one USB C port and one USB uh, 2 port. It also has on the side over here uh, two more. Uh, power outs, 12 volt power outs over here, and two USB 2 power only, no data. Uh, these are excellent for connecting dew straps to your rig. Now it also has four more power out, 12 volt power out, to connect all your different devices uh, on your rig that needs 12 volt powers, and just about everything uses 12 volts uh, on the system. Uh, over here it has your 12 volt power supply in, and here you have your data portion in. Now. Now in the box also comes with uh, one connector of a 12 volt to 12 volt to power out. Your uh, power in connector with a cigarette light, uh, uh, cigarette lighter type connector. And uh, uh, it does not come with its own power supply. You need to uh, get your own power supply. And I acquired this 12 volt 10 amp power supply with the uh, cigarette lighter adapter on the female adapter on the end to connect everything. And you just, of course, just, just plugs in right here and everything is connected. The device also has uh, in this a fuse built in in case you, uh, for some reason, like I have already done once, uh, blow the fuse. You could easily uh, just unscrew the tip here and change the fuse, and the fuse is right inside of the device right over here. But anyway, you plug this into your system, and it powers up the, uh, the SV Boney 241. Now, you have one power connector to go with this. Now with the SV Boney power supply and hub, all I need is this connector cable, which comes with the system, and it's a USB 3 connector. Just plug it into the SV Boney that's connected to the rig, and then this goes all the way down into my mini computer, which I have right here, and it's just a USB 3 connector, and I just connect that into the system right here. And other than the power supply going into this computer, this is all I need to connect to the rig. And it once connected, everything is operational. Now, let's talk more about the uh, system itself. The 2.1 USB non-data power outlets are useful for connecting your dew straps. And most dew straps come with a RCA jack, but there's no RCA jack on here, just 12 volt power out. Now you can get little converters to change from RCA jack to a 12 volt jack uh, to plug into any power supply like this. Or you could buy the SV Boney uh, uh, dew strips. And uh, these dew strips here, this one's for my guide camera. It's a 240 millimeter uh, uh, diameter. Uh, plugs directly into the uh, port over here with the adapter. And this is the adapter right here. And with this adapter, you can control the strength of the dew strap. Uh, you can go from low to medium to high. So you do have somewhat of, of control for the power output going into your dew straps. And they give you two straps uh, I mean, two ports to plug into two different straps. So you just plug them in over in this area right here. And then you just connect it into your uh, your dew strap itself and let it go. So let's review once again the SV241, the power box. And on this side here, it has four ports for 12 volt power out. And over here, it has two more. So that gives you six 12 volt power lines going out to serve your system. And over here it has two USB 2.1 5 volt power out, great for operating dew straps. And on this side over here it has the two USB 3 inputs and it has the one USB 
2 input, and here is a USB-C input. Now, the C is more like a USB speed of 2.1, but it's great for operating your filter wheel or your guide camera. I'm currently using it to operate my guide camera. And um, over on this side here, you have the uh, output for your USB 3 that goes down to your computer, and this is the uh, power in, the 12 volt power supply into the system. So these two cables here are the only two cables that are running away down from the telescope down up to the uh, bottom of the rig. All right, that's what I have here with the SV Boney 241. What I've been using prior to that is the Pegasus power box, the advanced Pegasus power box. And it has basically the same thing. It has two USB 3 ports, two USB 2 ports. Uh, it has the, of course, the USB 3 input and the power input. And on this side, it has four uh, 12 volt power out and uh, two RCA for uh, jacks for your dew strips. And uh, it also has an adjustable power out over here in the event like you're running a Canon camera, for example, it uses 8 volts, not 12 volts, and you can adjust the power. Uh, one of the things on this Pegasus power box that you can do, and you have to do that through software, and uh, you can either do it through Nina or the uh, Unity software program from Pegasus. But uh, basically, these two are about the same. So here we got the uh, two products. They basically do the same thing. Now, the difference here is basically is not how they operate, but the price. This one, the Pegasus, that cost about $350. The SV Boney cost about $60, and with the coupon, perhaps $50. $350, $60. $350, $60. You be the judge. Which one are you going to choose? The SV Boney is an excellent device to use with your rig to connect all your devices. Well, speaking of connecting the devices, let's put the SV Boney to test. Let's see how it connects with in Nina. All right, let's connect to the telescope and see how things look right now. All right, connecting to uh, Nina. And the profile I have there is AM3 with the SV Boney system set up. So let's go with that. All right, let's uh, see if the camera is showing up. There it is, the Poseidon M Pro. And the filter wheel, so the electronic filter wheel is showing up. All right, let's connect to the camera. Let's see if it connects. It connects. Let's start the cooling. Okay. And let's connect the filter wheel. Filter wheel connected. All right. And there you can see the SV Boney narrow band filters, it's five nanometers, the HA, the S2, and the O3. I did a video on that earlier, and I have a link to it below. Those filters are very good. All right, I'll be using them in the future as I kept them in the filter wheel. All right, let's see if the mount's connecting, and it's the AFSI mount, the AM3, and let's connect. And there it is. All right, mount's connected. The guider, it's gonna be PH2. Let's load it in. And it connected. Of course, I got the cap on right now, but there it is. So it's all working there. And I can minimize this. All right, let's go to the mount itself and see if, uh, if it works through this system. And uh, let's just go to the uh, home position on the mount. Let's see what happens here. And uh, well, there it goes. So I'm running everything with the SV Boney power box right now. So the SV Boney SV241, I tell you, it's a great little box that does a big job for your rig and it makes it affordable for the beginner or the intermediate astrophotographer. And it makes life easy for viewing the heavens. And remember, the heavens are filled with majestic wonders, and they're all in a sky near you. And SV Boney is making it easier and more cost-efficient to view those heavenly views. And they're all, again, in a sky near you. So unless you need rain, 
and it's thundering out here right now. Clear skies, everyone.